Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 4th, 2017. We wanted to bring you a report on the volcano Kilauea in Hawaii. A few days ago, a very large chunk of a sea cliff fell into the ocean. And over the past few weeks, there has been a massive flow of lava pouring directly into the ocean. And we have a report by a USGS scientist. Now, before we bring you this report, by the USGS scientist, we wanted to bring you some footage showing you what they are calling a huge fire hose of lava pouring directly out of the cliffside and into the ocean. Now, this has been occurring for some time now, but it was just a matter of time before the stress occurred and a large section of this cliff just fell directly into the ocean. Now, we're going to be bringing you this report from the scientist from the USGS. And it's quite interesting because just as they were out there doing some scientific research, the whole entire cliffside fell into the ocean. So here's the report. Yeah, so these videos and the photos show that um, some really you know exceptional activity at the ocean entry. We have this open lava stream. Um, people commonly call it a fire hose, basically an open you know, airborne lava stream pouring out of the tube uh, directly into the ocean. The tube is perched up on the sea cliff uh, about 20 yards or so. So it's, there's, yeah, 20 yards of freefall there that the lava is making. It's coming out is this very, um, very, you know, very beautiful lava stream and uh, impacting the water. And where it impacts the water, we have these kind of pulsating littoral explosions, so, uh, pulsating explosions of steam and, um, and you know, fragmented lava. Yeah, I've never seen anything like this. I, I've been here nine years. Um, I, I haven't seen anything quite like this. Um, what's really unusual about this is that these kind of fire hoses have happened before, but they're generally uh, relatively short-lived uh, because, you know, inevitably the lava crusts over or it builds up, um, you know, a pile of lava at the base of the sea cliff and eventually tubes over. Um, this has been um, open for quite a while. And so, it's, yeah, it's kind of unusual in, its, in how long this has lasted. Well, all we can say is, is our best guess is that that collapsed around New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve actually just removed a lot of material. And uh, so, you know, that there's a basically a, a large area where lava can basically pour down um, and uh, it's basically just not nothing, there's nothing to accumulate on. Um, at least that's our best guess. And so basically that the reason is that most likely it's because of a very, that very large collapse on New Year's Eve. Yeah, in, in most cases we would have seen uh, a lava delta start to build out. They can build within a matter of days. Um, it's been several weeks now, um, and we haven't seen the formation of any delta. So that's telling us that whatever material there is, is under the water, that kind of underwater topography, or what's called bathymetry, um, has really changed, or you know, there's a major change on, um, on New Year's Eve, or at least that's, you know, that's what we presume. The delta had been, uh, I think it was about 26 acres. Um, so you know, it was a moderate to large size delta and the entirety of that collapsed on, on New Year's Eve over the course of several hours. And what was unusual about that collapse is that it also caused a section of the older sea cliff um, that had been there for years um, to collapse away too, about uh, 300 meters, well, a section about 300 meters long of the sea cliff. Um, it cut into the sea cliff about, I think it was about, uh, or I'd say 300 yards long. Uh, it cut into the sea cliff about, I think, about 70 yards, as I recall. So that was a you know a major a, a pretty big chunk of that older sea cliff that fell off. Um, that has happened before. Um, uh, it, you know, it does occasionally happen when you have these um, delta collapses that it takes out an old section. You know, presumably it might just remove some of that report uh, that that support or the um, you know or those vibrations and the just the um, the disruption from the delta collapse triggers uh, instability in the older sea cliff. Um, this is a little unusual because this, this older section of sea cliff that collapsed was kind of j adjacent to the side um, of, the, of that delta that collapsed. Previously, those older sections of sea cliff were pretty much directly behind the delta. Um, so this was a little unusual that it kind of, the reach of that collapse was a little farther than um, what we've seen before. Yeah, we always reiterate that there's, um, there can be, uh, you know, serious hazards at the ocean entries. The ocean entries are you know, arguably the most dangerous part of the whole flow field. Um, uh, there have been injuries and deaths at ocean entries before. Um, so they are, you know, something that needs to be taken very seriously. And in general, you never want to approach very close to an ocean entry. Um, uh, there's a number of different hazards. Of course, there is explosions. We're having those right now. 
there's actually material from these explosions being thrown back onto the sea cliff. Um, and of course, there's the, the possibility of collapse. Um, and currently, what we saw, and we posted this on our webpage, a thermal image of that entry area is that um, the sea cliff, the section of the sea cliff around in the immediate area of the ocean entry, has a hot crack kind of parallel to the shore. That suggests that that block, that area around this, the ocean entry itself, um, could be you know, very unstable and it could collapse. So it's another reason um, that people don't, you know, you don't want to get very close to the ocean entry. And that's the reason why the park has this rope barrier that keeps people, you know, more than 300 yards or so away from the entry. Now we're going to show you a few photographs. And what you're seeing now is the actual cliffside that fell. And these are still photographs that were taken just hours before this entire cliff fell into the Pacific Ocean. Now, there are boat tours that take people along this area to show them this lava flow into the ocean. At the same time, there were geologists and scientists at the top of this cliff, and they were setting up monitoring equipment to take measurements and monitor what was happening. And just as they were finished and roped off the area, the cliffside fell in. Now, we're going to be bringing you this video from a tour boat showing you what the people in the tour boat visualized as this cliff fell into the ocean. I saw the river just now. You missed it. The video footage from this tour boat was quite spectacular and I would have to say a little scary. These tour boats do get kind of close to where this fire hose of lava was pouring out of its cliffside. They are expecting more of this cliffside to collapse into the ocean. If anything like this does occur, naturally, we will bring you a report on this. Thank you very much for watching the Nibiru channel. Stay tuned. I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is February 4th, 2017. We wanted to bring you a report on the volcano Kilauea in Hawaii. A few days ago, a very large chunk of a sea cliff fell into the ocean. And over the past few weeks, there has been a massive flow of lava pouring directly into the ocean. And we have a report by a USGS scientist. Now, before we bring you this report, by the USGS scientist, we wanted to bring you some footage 
showing you what they are calling a huge fire hose of lava pouring directly out of the cliffside and into the ocean. Now, this has been occurring for some time now, but it was just a matter of time before the stress occurred 